Okay, so this next video is about jQuery and how you can handle with vanilla JavaScript the loading events. So when your page is loading, how do you know when the HTML is ready versus when everything has downloaded? So I have a very simple web page here. We've got the main element, a couple of paragraphs, and inside the last paragraphs I've got two very large images, 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So these are going to be really big images. I want to wait until they're loaded. So if we take a look on the page here, here's the two paragraphs and my two images, which I've got them sized with CSS, but they are actually really large images, so they will take a little bit of time to load. In my console, I'm writing out when the page, the HTML is ready. So if I refresh this, you can see right away the HTML is done loading, and then when the images are down, then we get the load event. So taking a look in the code, how do we do this with jQuery and with vanilla JavaScript? So jQuery, if you've been using that for a while, you know that you can target the document object on the page with the dollar sign document method, and then call the ready method, pass in the name of the function that you want to call. So there it is. This means that the HTML has been loaded, the requests for the other things, the requests for the images, the scripts, the styles, those have all been fired as well. If there's inline styles, then those will be happening on the page too. Uh, well, this will be tracking the fact that those things have happened. Then for the window load event, once everything has been downloaded, what we're doing here is with the window object tracked using the dollar sign method, we're using the event listener for the load event on the window object, and we're going to call this function. Okay, so that's jQuery. Um, we want to get away from using jQuery. We don't want to have to rely on having that extra library downloaded on our page. So the replacement for these two lines is, I'm just going to shrink this so we can see them both. It's quite simply going to be document add event listener and the event that we're going to be listening for is the DOM content loaded. That's the event. And we're going to call this function right here in it. So you can see the structure is very much the same as this. It's just you need to know the name of the event and it's DOM content loaded. And this functionality is going to work across MS Edge, Safari, Firefox, Chrome, all those things. For the loading one, when the page has finished loading and all the images are there, then we use window, add event listener, and the event that we're listening for is called load. And then this is the function we're going to call right here, load. Okay, so that's it. That's the equivalent. This is the vanilla plain JavaScript equivalent of these two lines. So now you know how to listen for the loading events for your page as things are loading without having to load in that jQuery library just to achieve this. And we'll take a look on the page here. And there we go. We get DOM content loaded, then the jQuery ready. Then we're getting jQuery load and loaded. So these are the two after everything is loaded. These are the two that happen when the page has finished loading its HTML. And there we go. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will leave a copy of this code as a code just linked to in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.